Hello ST, today you're going to learn more about recycling than you have ever wanted to before. We have a list of three videos just for you guys. Each one explaining how recycling works or how you can use a different method to better the environment. The first video we have lined up for you is recycling effectiveness. I recycle because I want to make the world a safer place. It's good for the environment. To make the environment better. ST is a recyclable friendly school. Students mostly recycle mixed paper, plastic bottles, and cans. In San Jose, more than 90% of waste is diverted from the landfill. This includes electronics, paper, and other compostable waste. If the community would save one ton of paper, we could save 17 trees. In fact, Miss Jewel's class has found a way to reuse paper by turning old projects into brand new ones. Students took old artwork that they created during first semester that was all practice artwork and then they had to sit there and actually tear it into really tiny pieces of paper and the tinier that they could shred it the better. And then we mixed that with boiling water to help break down the paper. We let that sit overnight and through the weekend and then we took the paper pulp and then we actually blended it in a blender to break down the paper fibers further so that we could float that in the water. I do like the idea of making my own paper. Um, I like the idea of recycling, but like making it at home by myself every time I would use it, like I don't think so. Yes, I do like the idea of making my own paper because it actually helps the world. Yeah, I did enjoy this project. You know, we're saving the environment. My friends here, and it feels really good. I wanted to find a way that we could take all the paper and, and turn it into weight from waste into an art project and start that discussion about how we use our um, resources and how that could change in the future if we don't start using our resources wisely. We need to be aware about the world we live in. Every day people have littered even though a trash can was within arm's reach. We, as students, need to help our community and our environment become a cleaner and more healthier place to live in. The second video we have lined up for you is recycling process. The recycling process involves collection, processing, manufacturing, and purchase. The first step is collection. Collect raw materials such as paper, plastic, and aluminum, then bring them to the recycling centers near you. You can easily find these places on the internet. After the materials are collected, they are sorted, cleaned, and processed into materials that can be manufactured. Lastly, these recycled items are sold, purchased, and reused. For the cycle to continue, it's important to recycle. Our third and final video is upcycling. Many people get upcycling and recycling mixed up as though they are the same thing, even though they are very different from one another. When you upcycle an item, you aren't breaking down the materials. You may be refashioning it, like using an old bag as a planter, but it's still made of the same materials as when you started. Recycling, on the other hand, takes consumer materials, mostly plastic, paper, metal, and glass, and breaks them down so their base materials can be remade into new consumer products, often of lesser quality. Upcycling is turning into a new and creative way for people to reuse their old or unwanted things. Even our own art teachers here in Santa Teresa like to upcycle. Ms. Rice's room from 1101 had her students create upcycled projects such as these book dioramas. You can find these pieces of art in the library, room 108. The point of upcycling is to not go out and buy new furniture pieces every time you want to change, but to reuse your old unwanted furniture by turning it into something new and creative. Upcycling will take a bit of work on the creator's part as it's making new stuff out of old things, but once the project is done, it's usually worth it. And if you don't like what you've made, you can always go and donate your new piece of furniture to Goodwill. So not only will you be helping the environment, but you'll get a tax reduction on your home too. It is more healthy for the environment to upcycle than recycle because it takes away the waste that would normally end up in a landfill and turns it into something new. We hope these videos have inspired you to become more environmentally friendly. Help us make a difference by recycling daily.